Welcome to the Paul Chandler Show. I'm your host, Paul Chandler. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing the most rad topic in procedure coding, radiology. So we'll be discussing x-rays, CTs, CTAs, MRIs, and MRAs as far as what we look for in the documentation from views and dealing with the contrast and whatnot. And also we'll be looking at modifier 26 and modifier TC. So stay tuned and we'll be right back and we'll be discussing diagnostic radiology. When coding the dynastic radiology, there's a few different terminologies that we need to remember first. That what we call x-rays in the real world, and the CPT coding is called radiologic examination. Then we have CTs, CTAs, MRIs, and MRAs. CTs, computer tomography. CTA, computer tomographic angiography. MRI, magnetic resonance imaging. And MRA, magnetic resonance angiography. So first, looking at the x-rays or the diagnostic radiology, that with those, we're looking at the number of views, V-I-E-W-S. So a view, think about it, that's whenever the patient sits down, lays down, however they're being set, and they'll say, no, don't move. They'll go, one, two, three, ah, a little x-ray machine going on. Every time you hear the ah, that's the view, that they're getting the image on it. So when we're coding, we're looking at the number of views. Sometimes the codes have no number in the CPT code. For example, 70030, the radiology examination of the eye to detect a foreign body. There's no number in that CPT code, so one view is one x-ray. So one view is one unit of 70030. However, though, sometimes then there are numbers in the CPT codes dealing with the views, such as when we're dealing with the mandible or the jaw how we have 70100 and 70110. Now, I do have a phrase, and if you've been in any of our classes, but the Honda coding, for example, maybe you heard, heard me say it. Watch your numbers, watch your numbers, watch your numbers. And oh, by the way, watch your numbers, watch your numbers, watch your numbers. Because when we're dealing with views and we're talking about the number of views, that, for example, 70100 says less than four views for the mandible which in translation is one through three views. I don't know why they don't simply just say rheologic examination of the mandible, one through three views. That'd be easy. But if you ever have a question though, as far as the CPT code book, remember there are three pages in the front of the book who has a list of doctors that wrote the CPT manual from the AMA, the American Medical Association. And my name is on nowhere of those three pages, so don't shoot the messenger. I don't write the book, I just try to translate it. So, 70100, one through three views, and that is the range. So the, the radiologist does one, two, or three, doesn't matter, still just one CPT code. So you think of it as if they do two, buy one, get one free deal. If they do three, buy one, get two free, same reimbursement. And then 70110 says minimum of four views, which in translation is four and up, four or more. Same principle. If you have five, then it's just the one code, 70110. So with the views, we are wanting to watch our numbers. And remember that if there's no number in the CPT code, like for example, 70030, then it's one view per one CPT code. Now then, when we're coding, the CT, CTAs, MRIs, and MRAs. Three out of the four follow the same format. The CTs, MRIs, and MRAs. So we're gonna talk about that first, and then we're gonna look at the CTA, which for some whatever freaking weird reason is done differently. But again, I didn't write the manual, that's just how they're gonna code it. So I use this grid when explaining the different formats for CT, MRI, and MRA, because with these procedures, we're dealing with contrast. So contrast is the ink, dye, whatever you want to call it, 
that goes into a patient. So in that way, when they're getting the imaging done, they're glowing like a green old alien, and you can also see the body parts that you're doing the imaging on a little bit better. Now, there's three different ways, though, how a patient can have the contrast put in their body. They can drink it, as in just put it in a glass and swallow it down. They can have it go through the skin in type of IV injection, or you can get enema up the bum. But when we're coding for the options of with contrast, we only code the options for that with contrast if they're getting the contrast through the skin. If they're getting the contrast through a, swallowing a drink or getting an enema up the bum, even though they're getting the contrast, we code it as without contrast because it only takes a few moments to take a drink or get an enema up that bum. So we have the different types of procedures. We have the CT, MRI, and the MRA. And as far as the contrast, we have the options for without contrast, with contrast, then the combinations without contrast followed by with. And what's also know about the domestic radiology is all of them follow the same format. So for example, with the CTs, and I'll also use the example of a brain CT. Every CT, no matter what the location is, has a different option for all three. So, for example, a brain CT without contrast, 70450. A brain CT with contrast, 70460. And without, followed by with, 70470. Now, with the MRI, same format, where we have one code for without contrast, 70540. One code with contrast, 70542. And the combination without contrast, followed by with, 70543. And then we have the MRA, same principle as the CT and the MRI. We have an MRA example for the head without contrast, 70544, with contrast, 70545, and then without followed by with, 70546. So as you can see here, I simply just chose the location for the head or the face that every CPT option has without, Contrast with and the combination without followed by with. Same thing for the CTs, MRIs, and MRAs, no matter where they're at on the body. Now, with the coding though, remember I just talked about how what we constitute as without contrast and what is considered with. But also to the combination code. That remembering that whenever you have a combination code in CPT coding, you would choose the combination code, not the two codes separately. So let's say for example, patient has a CT without contrast, and then has one with. So they do the without contrast first, have the ink, the dye in the patient, they're glowing like the good old green alien. Now they're doing the CT with contrast, we would just do the one code, 70470. We would not do the two separate codes. We call that unbundling. And if you do that good enough, then let's just say, Next time I see it, Alcatraz, um, you may be behind the cell, a little nice little little cup going back and forth, because that's fraud and that's a no-no. So unbundling, bad. Combination codes, good. So we would have the two separate codes, possibly, if you unbundle it, 70450, comma 70460. Remember, unbundling's a no-no. If they're doing both, without, followed by with, we use the one combination code, 70470. So we'd only use the two separate codes if they're having either one of those procedures done that day. So all the same formats, again, no matter where it's at in the body, CT, MRI, and MRA separates it out. One always has a without contrast, one always has the with contrast, and then they always have the without followed by with. So while that's four out of the five that we talked about, the radiology examination, i.e. x-rays, CTs, MRIs, and MRAs, the CTA is coded differently across the board, no matter where it's at in the body. So with the CTA coding, so for example, uh, let's say, let's use the code, let's say 70496. And how every CTA guideline states that includes the imaging with contrast but also it says includes non-contrast images if performed. So what that means is, let's say we're doing a CTA of the head, the brain, 
then code 70496, if the provider just does one CTA with contrast, we code that 70496. If they do the without contrast, since it says includes not gotcha images if performed, so if they do a CTA without contrast, then one with contrast, that's still the same code, same reimbursement. So essentially what we're saying is that when we code CTAs, this right here, the CTA without contrast, that is not separately reimbursable. So that's a buy one, get one free deal. They're reimbursing the doctor for the CT, A with thick contrast, but not for the without. So again, all across the boards, when we're coding the CTAs, it always includes the imaging with contrast, but then separately without followed by with, same reimbursement in there. Now the last part that we're gonna talk about, the raddest topic in the CPT book for diagnostic radiology is modifier 26 and modifier TC. Modifier 26 stands for professional component. So let's, and we'll just use the, let's see, let's, let's just use the brain CT no contrast. The good old 70450 code. We can either do the code where it's just 70450 and that's it, or we can separate it out, 70450 modifier 26 and 70450 modifier TC. We have three different options when we're coding. The main part though we have to know is what is the radiologist as far as their relationship with the facility or wherever the patient is having the procedure done, the CTA or the MRI, in this case, the CT. So as far as the relationship status, if the radiologist is employed by the facility, that is the question we have to ask. And if that radiologist is yes, employed by the facility. Let's say if uh, Dr. Rayad works at Regional Hospital, then, so I'll put yes as that answer, for the radiologist is employed by the facility, we simply just code 70450 and that's it. No modifiers. But oftentimes though the radiologist is not employed by the facility, they're oftentimes separate entities. So then if they are not employed by the facility, then we have to break it down to two separate modifiers. 70450, modifier 26, and for the professional component, that goes to the doctor for the radiologist, so say Dr. Rad. And then modifier TC will be for the facility, the hospital. And I'll just put down FAC for facility. So that way then modifier 26, when that claim is submitted, then Dr. Rad's practice, let's say if they work for Dr. Radiology's RS, for example, then they're gonna reimburse for the radiologist's work for looking at the image, deciding what's going on with the patient, and typing up the cute little report at the end, while the facility, as a regional hospital, is getting reimbursed for all the expenses of owning the CT machine or the equipment or leasing it out, and the paper tissue gown that they make the patients wear, keeping the temperature at 60 degrees while they're wearing said paper tissue gown. So all we have to check the facility status of the employment relationship with the radiologist. Again, if the radiologist is employed by the facility, we just do the CPT code and that's it. If the radiologist is not employed by the facility, then if we're coding for the radiologist, we do this appropriate radiology code, modifier 26, and modifier TC if we're coding the facility. Now one thing I never quite understood, so modifier 26, modifier TC two letters and two numbers. So modifier 26 is a, C, as a, a CPT modifier, level one. TC, level two modifier for HICDIX. I don't understand why they don't just make modifier 26, change that to PC, for example, for professional component. That makes sense. So we'd have modifier PC for professional component, modifier TC for technical component. The only reason why I just assume the AMA doesn't do that because if you think about it, if they make modifier 26, if they would change it to modifier PC instead for professional component, PC, professional component, Paul Chandler, I'm Paul Chandler, PC, professional component, PC, Paul Chandler, that's, I'm guessing that's why they don't do that. But so until then, it's still modifier 26, the two numbers. 
And so that's how we code diagnostic radiology, looking at the radiology examinations, the x-rays, the CTs, CTAs, MRIs, and MRAs, modifier 26, until it changes later to be named after me, and then modifier TC for the technical component. So I do thank you for watching this education on dynastic reality coding. If you have any ideas of topics that you'd like to see in our videos, please visit our website, thepaulchandlershow.com, and up on top, click on Suggest a Topic. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome rest of the day. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's so easy. It's right there. The little button. Just push it. Subscribe. I got all night. Nothing else to do. Just subscribe.